So that, those were canyons four and five that we just saw. I'm headed back to the main loot trail now, and then we're gonna go left, and then go on the that other canyon trail towards six, seven, eight, and nine next. So it's probably gonna be a little bit of a walk before we get to number six. But it just started raining, so that's okay. So I'm guessing this is Canyon 6. Came to a little fork in the road about, I don't know, 50 yards back. And the trail is got very narrow, very fast, with a decent amount of brush, at least compared to the normal trail here anyway. And I believe this is Canyon 6. Yeah, this must be it. This is very nice, very nice indeed. Easily, it's just popped up out of nowhere. I don't think this is seven. I think it's just on the way to seven. Good God, this is, this is so cool. It's huge. path is getting rather treacherous rather quickly. I'm kind of just walking alongside of that. You can't really see it. Great through all the trees here in, from the camera, but we're kind of just walking along the side of that canyon. We just saw the side of a second ago that I guessed was just on the way to seven, but I'm thinking now with all these trees I'm having to climb over, that clearly isn't maintained. I'm thinking that that just is canyon seven that I'm just not even on the, the right path right now. Yeah, I was I definitely past Canyon 7. That was definitely it. So rewind, however many seconds that was, 30 or 60, and pretend that I was narrating the view for Canyon 7, not the route to Canyon 7. Welcome to Canyon 8. This is probably the biggest one so far. Still can't eat eight. Let's walk a little farther down. It's about as far as the there's even a some resemblance of a path to the edge here. The fact that this is just <laughs> in southwestern Georgia is just crazy to me. Aside from North Georgia where the kind of start getting towards the Appalachians, this is just such a relatively flat state. So cool. This is just this big canyons just here. Look at this guy. Probably can't even catch this on the camera, but it's a tiny little spider. It's a little, a little blurred dot right in the center. On this, you definitely can't see it in the camera. Maybe you can see the glare a little bit. It's got this huge web. 
I, got, I can't even see where it starts and ends, but judging by where all the closest limbs are, it must be solid, like five feet wide. It's neato torpedo stuff, folks. Jeez Louise, these leaves are huge. Average sized hand for scale. It's probably being generous to me, but we'll go with it. Wow. I did not know these kind of trees, whatever they're called, grew in Georgia. Learned something new today. So I just got on the trail about 30 feet back or I don't know, 30 yards back for the last and possibly least canyon number nine. This is cool. Wasn't expecting to see these today. It's like someone or people camp here. It's kind of cool. So anyway, I somehow accidentally made it back onto the the uh, the main white loop trail. Apparently, I thought I was going down the trail towards Canyon Nine. Obviously, since I said that, and it's kind of wound up at the intersection of the the red backcountry trail and the white main loop trail here. So, not sure what happened in Canyon 9. I thought I took the only, I thought I was following the map, unless maybe the map isn't that accurate, which I'm thinking might be the case. Anyway, I'm not sure it looked similar to the other ones anyway, so maybe we can get back for another day to find the, the uh, mysterious Canyon 9 here. So, back on the main loop now, and should be... A little bit of a walk before we get back to the main canyon areas and we can get a good view of them from the top this time. Found a lizard. It's probably the biggest wild one I've seen. It's got to be at least six or seven inches long. <laughs> 